So, how are you feeling? Um, Nagy, but that's to be expected. Um, I'm always like that before the fight, so no, it's a new thing. And uh, no, I'm looking forward to getting there and doing the business. So, how difficult has it been for you to have a change of opponent at the last minute? Very difficult. Um, yeah, um, obviously I've been focused on my first man, personally. Not mentioning names because I don't want to glamorise him any, any more than what he is. Um, but yeah, the coward pulled out, so um, um, I've got a stand in. That, um, I've been told that the moment that he's faced him with a poster, uh, this guy was put in place, so he's had a good time to uh, prepare. Um, he's a good fighter, um, and it'll be a good challenge. How kind of uh, bitter are you after having put in the amount of training that you've put in, which is phenomenal, uh, focusing on one opponent and he is not here? Yeah, I'm sore as hell over it. Um, it's a bitter, bitter pill to swallow. Um, yeah, and uh, especially like, like I've said before, you know, this show is going to take place four or five weeks um, earlier, um, and we put this show back because. Um, my former opponent, wanted, my former fighter I was meant to be fighting, uh, wanted uh, nine weeks to train. So, you know, the whole thing had been set around him, which he shouldn't really have been um, given time to do. And I just don't think he had any intention whatsoever to go through the final full stop. Do you, know, do you not think there's going to be one moment of regret from him? You know, he could have been top of the bill tonight, you know, at the York Hall, home of boxing against Mark Potter. You know, do you not think he's going to look back in years to come and think, you know, I didn't do the fight? No, I think too many people have got to him. I think, I think too many people have told him, what, 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 what on earth are you doing? Um, and I think he's arse off for that. Um, I like him to a jellyfish. No brain, no spine, no heart, um, no balls. In fact, he didn't want his picture on the post. I mean, if I was fighting, say, Mike Tyson, I would want the whole world to see my picture on a poster next to Mike Tyson because of my god I fought Mike Tyson. Um, I don't understand I don't understand I don't understand his thought process, I don't understand he's almost childlike. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe you'll regret it in years to come. Um, I doubt it very much. I think he's uh, that shallow in the mind I don't, I don't think he'll be good. So the way I see it is that ultimately he's not here and you are, so that kind of makes you the winner of it all, really, doesn't it? If you can, if you can find a silver lining like that, um, it, I don't know whether or not he thinks it, uh, of it as being a hollow victory that he's called all this uh, turmoil and uproar. Um, um, but I show my advice to it. Um, Tom was a bitch and it will come back in the arse one day. Um, I just think he's a very, very sad um, individual.